where we are now we are at Greenfield Village you can see that sign right now so excited and um, go ahead and go through the gates right here just so excited so excited look what I see here a historical marker in 1929, Henry Ford created Greenfield Village, guided by the philosophy of learning by doing. Ford not only paid tribute to his friend and hero Thomas Edison, but also gave Americans a chance to experience history firsthand. His vision was realized by relocating and preserving an unrivaled collection of authentic historic buildings into an American village. Today, Greenfield Village embodies the spirit of Henry Ford's bold vision. Farmers, artisans, inventors, writers, shopkeepers, and railroad workers carry out their daily tasks throughout this changing landscape. The energy is unmistakable as their powerful and inspiring stories bring 300 years of the American experience to life every day. And Greenfield Village was established as a national landmark in 1987, but I am just so excited to be here. See a fountain up there? We will soon go in. We are now in Greenfield Village and you just saw the Edison locomotive on the Weiser Railroad departing and now we are going to be heading to the Henry Ford's Model T district of Greenfield Village. I should mention that it is so big, like 80 or 90 acres here, that they are broken up into different districts. There is one focused on Henry Ford. There is a um, his birthplace, a school he went to, as well as a replica of one of his um, his uh, companies or buildings he built cars in. Um, there's you can also go for rides on an authentic Model T. So that is what we are going to be going to do now. And that right there is a um, the omnibus here at Greenfield Village. You can ride it and be pulled by a horse throughout the village. 
So it will be in second. One thing I think you might like to see is the sign that says, watch the Fords go by. Now, we're going to be going on a ride in Henry Ford's Model T. I should mention that I have a geocaching photo challenge here I created that you um, get your picture in a Model T. The loading antennas are more than happy to take your picture and um, I'll put a link to that challenge on my blog and yeah, two people have already completed You just get a picture of yourself in the Model T and have a lot of fun here.
580,000 model P. He dropped the price to $360. So like I say, by the early 20s, you could buy a new Model T touring car like this one for $290. It was just a year after this one was built that they stopped the production of Model T. Yeah, 1927 was the last year of the Model T. Okay. But you know, in between that time of October of 1908 and May of 1927, Henry Ford produced over 15 million Model Ts. Wow. And you know, that production figure held until the early, early 70s, when Volkswagen finally beat him out. Huh. It took Volkswagen 30 years to do that, it only took Henry Ford. 18 and a half years. Wow. Top speed on the Model T is 45 miles an hour. Now there's no gear shift in the Model T. It's all in the transmission. I have three pedals on the floor. The left pedal of my foot is the clutch. The middle one's reverse. The right one's the brake. The gas is right here on the steering column. It's on my right hand. If you want to start off from a stop, you just pull down on the gas. Push the clutch all the way in, you're in low gear. If you go a few feet and look up on the gas, let the clutch all the way out, you're in high gear. That's all I was doing. You know, Henry Ford didn't invent the production line. All he did is greatly improve it. That credit goes to a fellow named Ransom E. Olds, who in 1903 came out with the Curved Dash Oldsmobile. Prior to 1914, the Model T was still largely built by hand. It needed to take 10 to 12 hours for just one car. Well, after Henry Ford got that production line really running around great, they dropped that time down to a mere 93 minutes. Wow. You could actually stand outside that Highland Park plant and watch a brand new Model T come out of there every 24 seconds. Wow. Wow. Well, by the early 20s, 60% of all automobiles were Model T's. Wow. for about the past decade. Oh. Like three times in the week that we visit Michigan. Okay. <laughs> that's so, great. Yes, no, we always do the Model T's first. Yeah, it's a great place to come. A lot of cool history. Oh, it certainly is. Well, there's over 300 years of history here in the village. So what one place do you think, what do you recommend I visit here? One spot. Well, I mean, everything is so interesting. But the roundhouse is very interesting. Uh -huh. That's where they keep all the locomotives back over here. Oh, wow. And you'll see that one locomotive sitting in there. It's a bald one. Okay. And they're restoring that. And someday they're going to put it out here in the village. But you see, when Henry Ford owned the Detroit, Toledo, and Ironton Railroad, that was his favorite locomotive. And he used to drive it occasionally. Huh. He even held office meetings in the cab of the, <laughs> of the train. <laughs> That's neat. You know, the humorous Will Rogers once said of Henry Ford, he said, you know, it'll take a hundred years to tell whether he helped us or hurt us. They didn't leave us where he found us. <laughs> and that's, a, that's no lie there. Okay, folks, thanks very much for coming by today. Thank, thank you. Watch your head. Here's that sign that says, watch the Fords go by. It was a lot of fun to show you. As I told the driver, we have been coming here for the past decade. Just had a, had a blast seeing all the history here. And hopefully we'll be able to 
check out the um, the roundhouse later today. Right now, we are headed to the carousel, a 1913 carousel built by the Herschel Spillman Company in New York, and it is special because it is the only carousel company to carve frogs on their um, on their carousel. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And anyway, so that'll be fun. And I hope you enjoyed that little ride and narration learning about the Model T.
done with the carousel. We're done with that, right? Sure, a lot of fun. Also got to show you that. And uh, I think we might be going for another ride. This time I'm on a horse. At the Scarlet Ride, we learned the difference between a merry-go-round and a carousel. <coughs> Sorry, merry-go-round has only horses, carousel has much more things like frogs. So, yeah, it's just really fun to ride this. Um, I think my sister wants to go again. It was fun to go two times. I don't know if I will go a third time. Just have to see whether I, we will go different places. And thank you for watching this video. It's been a lot of fun to have you along. Be sure to check out my blog at www.historicalgeocaching.blogspot.com for further details on this video as well as any that's history or geocaching related. 